What it do, motorsports, sports, it's your boy, Bri. And I'm here, back at y'all with another video. And I wanna talk about Gerard Ennis versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Why the fight didn't happen, why it ain't gonna happen, and why we just might never see that fight at all. Now, I was on Phenom page earlier. I went on the page. He kind of cut me off. He was being real condescending. Like, he wasn't trying to let me finish a sentence. He said what I was saying was silly. But what I was saying was reality. Like, um, I was just, I was in the middle of just saying, like, um, Gerard Ennis was offered the fight. Whether we, whether, whether, whatever the circumstances was, at the end of the day, you was offered a fight to fight for a championship. You wasn't a champion. Right now, you're a mandatory. If you would've took that fight and fought him, when they offered you the fight, you'd've probably been champion right now. You know what I'm saying? Or if you'd've stayed in the WBO, maybe the fight would've been ordered already. You know what I'm saying? But my reason as to why Boots, why the, boot, why the Boots fight didn't happen. One, he jumped out of WBO rankings, bro. You was in the WBO rankings, you was number two. And it was it was it was public that Victor Ortiz did not want to fight. Like no, but Virgil, it was, it was pub, public that Virgil did not want to fight, bro. Virgil did not want to fight Bud. That was clear. You could have stayed in the WBO. You would have got the fight. You jumped up. You jumped and you went to the IBF. Cool, cool. You went to the IBF. You fought. You fought a bunch of you fought some good fighters, but they was nobody. Cusio Clayton, he's he's a bum. Hosuka Sean, he's a bum. Roman Villa, he's he's a he was getting outboxed by Rashid Ellis. I feel like Rashid Ellis was winning every single round. I feel like Rashid Ellis, even with them knocked down late in the fight, Rashid Ellis still won that fight because he won about nine rounds. Nine, ten rounds straight. So none of these guys was like top of the line guys. I feel like if you just stayed in the WBO, you'd end up getting a fight with, with, with Bud. Okay, cool. So now we move forward. So now everybody mentioning your name, this is the third. But offers you to fight and tell you, listen, um, I don't gotta fight right now. Errol Spence is gonna go fight Keith Thurman. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fight Boots. Let's let's see how this work out. Put on the phone with Boozy, all these have a uh, you put on the phone with Steve Espinosa. Bottom line is they didn't make the fight happen. When they could have made the fight happen, well, I feel like nigga, you should have made the fight. Boots should have made the fight happen right to the near. And the reason why is because you're young. You're 24, 25 years old. I think you would have beat him. I think you had a good chance of beating Bud and coming back with that championship title. I believe that. But they, I don't believe that Boots believed that. I don't believe that Bozy Ennis believed that. And I don't believe that Steven Espinosa believed that Boots was just going to beat Bud. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But Bud offered you to fight. Bud offered Boots to fight. He offered him to fight. I don't care what nobody said. He offered him to fight. If you'd have took that, you'd have win. You'd have win it for him. Win or lose a draw, you'd have, you'd have win. It. You could have win it for him. Bottom line, but I, I, I was, I wouldn't expect you to do it. But I'm just saying, the fight was offered to you. Okay, moving forward. Bud was on a million dollars worth of game, gearing up for the Errol Spence fight. He was on Facetime. He got on Facetime with Boots. Asking him when did he call? Uh, got off the phone. Gilly and Wallow asked Bud, "Yo, all right, you after this after after Arrow Spence, you want to go fight Charlo and the other guy? But what about Boots? You gonna fight Boots? You gonna?" The man said, "Yo, you don't you never know. Like I might, I'm just saying. Like if Boots talk crazy, like, yo, remember you on that interview and you said you'll beat me, I'll beat you, I'll knock you out, I'll do this." Basically saying, basically telling Boots, basically telling Boots, bro, if you want to, if you want to fight me, call me out, call for me, and not getting on a camera saying, yeah, I want them guys, I want the top guys, man, I want, I want to fight for the belt, man. No, no, fuck the belts, nigga, fuck the belts. Tell, tell anybody, everybody who listening, yo, I want to fight Bud. He's not on my level. I will destroy him. Anytime y'all give me the fight with Bud. I'm going to destroy him. He doesn't want to fight me because he know I'll beat him. Say that every time somebody asks you about Bud. 
Say that every time somebody says you young, I'm not telling you to be disrespectful. I'm not telling you to call his mother. I'm not telling you to call him. I'm telling you to call him out about his skills and about him. Because let me tell you one thing. Terrence Crawford can be everything in the book, but he's emotional. And you say something to him, acting like you ain't, you ain't you're not a believer, he going to make you a believer. So if you feel like you want the, if, if Boots feel like he wants the Bud fight, Bud told Boots how to get the fight. Call me out. Say something about me. Tell him that I'm not on your level. Say you'll smoke me. You know what Boozy said? Boozy got on the thing and said, yo, he wanted to talk, call, talk crazy to call him out. I told him we don't even talk like that, man. That's not even us. This is boxing, bro. I'm going in the ring to beat you up with my hands, bro. What do you mean? What more disrespect is that? He's not telling you to talk about it, but you want that man, go get that man. Yo, bud, nigga, where you at? After every fight, after Roman Villa fight, not that I want Spencer, I want them guys. No, I want bud. I want bud. Be specific about who you want. Fuck Keith Thurman, fuck Amada Standing Owners, fuck all them niggas. If you really want bud, the way you get bud is calling him. Call him out. And that's all I got, man. And for now, stop doing me like that, bro. You be violating me, bro. You be letting King do whatever he want, bro. And King be killing you sometimes. You be tight. But, yo, that's not what I got, man. Boots really don't want to fight Terrence Crawford, man. Y'all got to stop putting that man in the gauntlet he don't want to be in. I believe Boots is a great fighter. But at one time, he got to speak for himself, man. He don't want to fight. He don't want to fight, bro. He's scared. He's scared, bro. And if you want to fight, bro, call him out. You ain't call him out. You ain't call him out. That I want to no, that's not calling somebody out. Telling you I want to fight you. Not I want to fight Spence. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. Bro, I want to fight you. And that's what I got, man. But now nah, stop doing me like that. I'm out of here.